Hi there. Let's see. <laughs> I was right. I'm back. A, a little visit part two. This one, honestly, will be really, really quick. Um, I've lately I've been wanting to use um, gesso, but not white. I don't like the white. And I'm going to try and tint some gesso so that it's tinted for when I want to use it. So that it's not glaring, glaring diamond white. I just want it slightly off. So let's do it. I just want it just the palest cream color. Come on. Ugh. Boy, they, they really make this senior proof. All right, I'm going to put it in here. I better give that a good stir. I haven't had it open in a while. There we go. There we go. Let's just get down to the bottom. I can feel it thicker down there. Oh, I don't want those crumbs in it. Oh, I'm not going to do that again. I think I lucked out. I think I'm okay. All right. So just give this a good stir. Get down to the bottom and hope this thing, this plastic palette knife doesn't snap off and I have to go fishing around inside to find it. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a few crumbs in there. Oh well. I can fish them off when I paint them on. It's just a base anyways. So... So it's a chunky base. So what, right? It's better than chunky Mod Podge. Chunky Mod Podge is so irritating. There we go. All right, I'm going to try and make quite a good amount here. I wonder. I don't think I have a spoon. Here in my room. Oh, I've got a little cuppy thing. I saved the cuppies. My husband likes the little mandarin oranges for his lunch. And uh, he knows I like using these up here in my studio. All right, let's just get a cup of gesso. Just put a tiny bit more, not too much. I'm not sure how fast I'll go through this or how slow. Let's move that. And clean this out. Good. Oh, 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 it's dripping and gooping everywhere. There we go. All right. Um, let's put this lid on. I have gesso written on the top because I keep it stored with other, some other buckety things under my desk. And that way, if I'm looking down on it, I know what it is because I have a few things that are in white buckets. So... That's why, in case you were wondering. So, now, I've done this in a smaller batch before. I like this shade mixed in. This is just, this is Dollar Tree paint, I believe. Or it might be Walmart paint. It's not expensive paint. Um, and it is golden brown. So I'm just going to add just a tiny little bit. Am I in camera? There we go. Just want to make it a little creamy. I can always add a bit more. 
if I need to I get paint on the bottom of this. And then I'll have ready-made not white gesso. I've been meaning to do this for like weeks. It just drives me nuts when I use gesso and I don't use it that often, but when I do use it and I paint it on and I think, ugh, I hate that this is white. Tempted, ugh. I'm tempted to put a touch more in, just a touch. Oh boy, oh, life's short, right? And goodness knows, I got a big enough bucket of gesso. It was on sale one day. And I thought, well, I'll get the big bucket. Come on. My goodness, you are. There. All right, that's it. And I'm not adding any more. That's it. Don't hold me to that. All right, um, brush, brush, brush. So there's, there's white. Where's a piece of white paper? Come on. Oh, come on. Why, why am I never ready? So there's pure white paper and there's the white gesso, which you can see is not necessarily diamond white, but when you put it on beigey things, the way we do, us junk journalers, it looks pure white. So let's see. So that is just a little bit creamier. <gasps> I'm happy with that. Now I guess we'll see how it dries. But right now, I'm happy with that. So pure white paper, this is just copy paper, pure white paper, white gesso, slightly tinted gesso. Yeah. Very good. Okay, of course. <laughs> it's not fun if you don't get messy, right? <laughs> oh gosh there we go you know what I'd rather have paint on my hands than uh, Fabri-Tac or 3-in-1 but I'm going to wash my hands before I touch Mary or the wealthy donor again because knowing me I'll get it on so I just this is a little airtight container that way I figure I'll keep my gesso Fresh. I wish it was a little deeper, but it's the only one I could find that I thought would do the job. So, all right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to go wash up, and then we can look at this. Maybe it'll be dry by then. So hold on. So it's barely noticeable. This is the normal gesso, this little area right here, and this area right here is my tinted gesso. And... Uh, Barely noticeable. I'm, I am so tempted to add a bit more right now, but I am going to hold off and use this first before I add too much and then I have to just get rid of it. So, so that's it for today. <laughs> that's a, you know, and it's not thoroughly dry yet. So I'll see. I'm going to be, it's not like me, but I'm going to be patient and uh, see if See if that is the shade I like. I have a feeling it is not. I think I want it a little bit darker. I think. I'll let you know. Thanks for joining me again. I, I do think this is probably it today. Um, first of all, my battery is at like 40%. So anyhow, have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thanks for joining with me again. Um, we'll talk soon. <laughs>